truck. Excellent. This is Richard. This is one hurting puppy. He takes the bus to get here. Yeah. She's crazy. The GERD made me lose almost all of my back teeth. Do you ever feel like you want to end it? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I've been through mental hospitals. Uh, I, I'm just happy to be here. Man. I'm happy to have you here, too. Yeah. I totally get it. You can feel his torture. Okay, yeah. so uh, tell us about your sleep, sir. Um, I, I barely sleep, man. I, I, I can't sleep. Richard, uh, 38. I'm unemployed right now. Gotcha. What'd you do before, sir? Uh, I work for Allied Movie Company. I've been going through GERD, um, psychotic breakdown, uh, mental illness. Um, I've had the GERD lose all of my back teeth, um, throat problems, um, massive brain fog, psychotic episodes. How long have you had this, sir? About seven years. The GERD made me lose almost all of my back teeth. And you're 38. And I'm 38. GERD is just another form of acid reflux. Yeah. So he has acid that comes up into his throat at night and the acid actually breaks down his yeah, teeth. Yeah, and it broke down almost all of my teeth. Uh, it's been seven years of just pure hell going to doctors, telling them there's something really wrong with me and these medications you're putting me on just yeah. make things worse. Do you ever feel like you want to end it? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I've been through mental hospitals. I've, I've once went through like uh, seven hospital visits and, um, you know, for, for like a whole year, um, you know, medications and so forth, diets, um, losing weight, gaining weight. It's just been a it's real nightmare. nightmare, nightmare. nightmare. It, it feels, feels like, like. Um, like I'm choking to death and like I can't get proper oxygen in my brain. Really, he's been really. to as many doctors as you could possibly think yeah. of. Yeah. And he's tried every GERD, every acid reflux uh, medication to get rid of it, right? Yeah. I, I go to a mental health group in Orange County. Yeah, yeah. Um, How often do you go there? I go almost every day. Every day, right? And then do classes and like, um, I still just can't get out of, you know, this funk. He had me on uh, antipsychotic medications and it just made everything worse, you know? Yeah. This is what it gets to when you have really, really bad imbalance. And so you think, how is a chiropractor going to help this guy? We're going to change up so much of it in just this first visit. This first fucking visit. When I tell people I save people's lives, <laughs> this is a perfect example of saving somebody's life. Because I guarantee this guy wants to end it. Yeah. Like I said, I've, I've been in mental hospitals and, you know, try to hold on to hope, you know, and just, it's been exactly. my... This is what makes me proud to put my videos out because somebody like this finds me and uh, I'm going to save this guy. So we're going to show you guys how much we can do in one visit. Uh, I, I'm just happy to be here. Man. I'm happy to have you here too. Yeah. I totally get it. And so uh, I love this guy already because he's a, he's a, you can feel, you can feel his torture. Okay, yeah, so. I barely sleep, man. I, I, I can't sleep. Constant bloating. Uh, I have fear of eating because uh, the bloating gets really bad. He's tried acupuncture. He lost 50 pounds too. Yeah. He put salt on the wound. He got into a bar fight. Yeah. What happened there? Oh yeah, I got my skull cracked and then I got in a car accident. You know, I've, I've been through a lot. So you ready to get started? <laughs> yeah. Good. You can, you can feel it, guys. Can't you feel it coming through the camera? I can feel it right here. I hope that it, I hope you can feel his emotion of this and how much is debilitating his life yeah so how much tension are paying you back there uh about a four or five back like this sir about a four or five neck how about that in your neck in your uh, right here how much about a four or five how about that yeah right four, there four or four. five no squat yeah get down get down lower how much pain your knees your butt uh, right here and right there yeah how much about a four or five tell me how much your throat hurts right now go ahead and swallow swallow for me yeah, that hurts. How much? Scale one to ten. About, about, about a four or five. How about your heartburn right now? Maybe like a three. Gotcha. I I'm, I'm not really eating right now. Definitely have bloating. And what is that number up? Uh, about a f uh, five. You can see he's hurting, guys. And you're like, why is Dr. Thayer asking about all these other <laughs> symptoms that he has nothing to do with? Because he's just working on his spine. I ain't. I could give a shit about his spine. All I care about is balance. I'm going to balance his body by adjusting his spine. And you guys are going to see a fucking miracle in a few, few seconds here. <laughs> Thank you, you man. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. Richard's x-rays. Really bad high reversal on him. Really exaggerated. You can see that. The other thing, he has a really effed up jaw. Jaw is yeah, way the yeah. hell off. Yeah, yeah. His jaw is freaking off. Woo wee! We got a lot here, guys. Massive left TMJ shift. Here we have 29 millimeter left imbalance, 17 millimeter short left leg, 16 millimeter right pelvic rotation. No teeth on this one, guys. Significant neck reversal, enlarged bone skull growth, and arthritis. Here we have L5 spondylolisthesis, compression fracture, arthritis, the whole shebang. So we're gonna go right through his reverse curve in his neck. 
And you're like, why don't you start with the atlas? Why don't you use a low back? Blah, 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 blah. Well, we're gonna work on where the bones go the exact wrong way, the curve, because the curve affects the atlas, which affects the brainstem. And that's all we need to do is take pressure off the brainstem. Push it right on the reverse curve, guys. C3 right here, C3. We're gonna go right through it. You guys ready? Wow. You see his head turn red right away. He turned like feet red. Crazy, man. It was crazy? How yeah. was it crazy? Like, it just made a lot of tension go away. Okay, what'd you say to me? I feel like I'm back in my body. What does that mean? Like, I, I feel like I'm connected back within myself. Like, man, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Told you, ready for a miracle, huh? Yeah, man, I just feel back in my body, like, whoop. Everything's back to normal, yeah. man. The problem, guys, is that the brain is disconnected from the body. Yeah, and that's what I was feeling for like a long time, man. And I was just trying to get my body and my mind back together. And it was just complicated, but now I feel can like... You feel how, can, you, can, can you hear how articulate he is now? Yeah. He's talking way faster and way more strong. Yeah, that's crazy, man. It's crazy because I can hear it in your voice already. The yeah, like I'm it. just back. Come towards me a little bit. Okay, drop it. Excellent. Ooh. Look at how much more calm you are. Yeah. That's good, man. What a lovely man. I like this guy so much. I really am happy I could help him. Now we're reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. We're going to check in and see how he's doing, but he's a really descriptive guy. Enjoy. All in my throat. That throat thing seems like it's gone. <laughs> um, how many years you been dealing with that throat thing? For seven years. Like I said, um, I lost almost all of my teeth. Um, I kept going to doctor after doctor, mental facilities over and over again. Uh, because of this. Because of that thing. And I may have gotten rid of it in 30 seconds. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. And you've been to other chiropractors too the last yeah, seven years, right? Yeah, and they could not help me like you could. Upsy daisy partner. Now we're gonna spread that adjustment from the neck to the entire body. Let's see how he's doing. I can't wait. I, I can't believe how like, Stand right here. how many years I went on like, living like that, man. It was unhealthy and that's just crazy. I feel connected with my body and my mind. Uh, that jaw thing, that thing in my throat, doesn't seem like it's having a problem anymore. I feel like I'm more connected in my body and my mind. Man, I just felt like disconnected for like so many years. It was a really terrifying yeah. experience. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody, but I'm glad I'm here. What about your anxiety? How does that feel different too? Oh, I don't even have any anxiety anymore. I, I just feel like a little bit more stable, a lot more, you know, clearer thinking and that jaw thing is gone. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. So uh, how many years have you been dealing with anxiety? Uh, for about seven years. Seven years, big time. And just one visit, like, I feel a lot better. Swallow. Everything's fine. Okay, now what about the heartburn? I don't have any heartburn. And that's just one visit. That's pretty amazing, dude. What about the bloating? Nah, I don't feel bloated at all. My back pain, like, and this shoulder pain that I had. What have we done to you since you've been here? Just did that little neck adjustment. That little, little fucking neck, and neck adjustment, yeah. Yeah, exactly. it's crazy, man. Okay, how much pain in your back? That was a four or something. Or three. Yeah, oh. no, no pain. No pain. That was a four also? Yeah, no pain, man. Through the ceiling? Slow the fuck down, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah. Slow the down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spot. No, squat. You said your calves hurt before, remember? Yeah. I don't, no, I don't. get down lower, get down lower, dude. Slow down. Look at how excited he is. <laughs> no, no, no calf pain? No calf pain, man. Yeah. I'm glad I came here. I'm, 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 I'm so glad, happy I came, glad you came here. Anyways, I'm really happy to help this guy. We got a long ways to go. He's not perfect yet, but what a fucking great day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> the next day after our first adjustment, right? Yeah. Yesterday all went good. But then uh, a little bit of flare up when uh, I went to sleep. I, I went to sleep around nine o'clock, nine and 10 o'clock. Everything went good. And then at two o'clock, almost two o'clock in the morning, had a little flare up. And then that throat thing came back. A little worried, but I didn't have to use nose drops last night to go to sleep. How often do you use nose drops? I have to use them every night. Yeah, because why? Because the GERD comes up and then it clogs my stomach. How is your GERD today? How is uh, it? It's a little bit better. A little better? Yeah. Okay, so yesterday you were, I think, a five or a six yeah. in the throat. Go ahead and swallow for me. And what is that right now? Compared it's to about it? like a two. So it's still better. Yeah. And what about your GERD and your stomach? Yesterday you were four or five, I think. Yeah, yesterday. and then yesterday it went down and then... No, so what about just, right now? What is it right uh, now? It's it's barely non-existent. And how about your stomach? You're bloating. Yeah, it went down a lot. I actually lost a couple pounds yesterday. <laughs> Why? Did you go to the bathroom and go number two? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, uh, yeah, just yeah, a lot, yeah, of, yeah, lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Did your mom noticed that you were different. What about... What? Uh, yeah, they said like, wow, like you're a little bit more, you're a lot more calmer, 
less intense and yeah. I was just a little bit more mentally stable. It was really I love, nice. I love that. And on a percentage scale, how much better do you think you are after one day of treatment here? Probably like 70% better. <laughs> Cause like I said, man, like, uh, I mean, it was over seven years I've been dealing with this. I get it, doctors. but I didn't think it was 70%. We just had a long conversation out in the waiting room and I didn't think he'd say 70%. So that's yeah. awesome, I'm, I'm really happy for you. He's really fighting me this morning. Just think nice and heavy like you're in bed, like you're sleeping. Just be like you're sleeping. There you go. Just like you're laying in bed, okay? Just like you're laying in bed. Right there. Right there. You see the eyes are a little, little twitchy. We're taking our time so we get the position. That was good. Just drop your head. Remember, just like you're sleeping in bed, okay? Just like you're sleeping in bed. Good, just like you're sleeping. Nice and heavy. Nice and heavy. The reason we want heavy, guys, is we want him to as relax as we can, and when he is helping, it actually tightens his muscles up. They can... Yeah, that was perfect. He relaxed, <laughs> yeah. he relaxed good on that. I think I caught him. I don't think he was paying attention. He caught, I caught him off guard there.